Hello out there, and welcome back to the Outer Wilds. I'm Eric with Perspective Gaming, and we have a few things we need to do today. We're going to head to Giant's Deep first and see if we can take that reverse uh, whirlwind down into the planet's core, which seems stupid, but it's a thing I can do. And we're also going to need to explore uh, the Ember Twins a bit to see if we can find the uh, the quantum stuff and the anglerfish, a few things we need to explore there. So we've got a decent start on what we need to do today. Forgive me if I have a little trouble reading which direction things are spinning at first. I know I've done puzzles like this before and it messes with my brain for whatever reason. Is it this one? It is this one! And then we know that that electrical field is going to block us, but that the jellyfish are good at protecting against that. I'm afraid that if I touch that jellyfish, it's going to immediately zap my console, though. Because we know that they can block it, but that looks pretty electrically inclined, actually. Guess there's no way to find out but to go for it! Shoot. I already put on my suit. It's a space suit, which means it should actually be, like, awful underwater, but I don't think that's how this game works. because being immune to low pressure is not the same thing as being immune to high pressure. That wasn't too bad. Okay. Stored electricity. So we do need to find, like, some other way than just touching the jellyfish. Thought I was onto something when I saw that one sinking in, and maybe I was, but. Just gotta keep trying things until we die in things. I also, while I'm down under the surface, do wanna check out. the... really bad at this. Um, that frozen line of jellyfish we saw under one of the islands while I'm here. Okay. So. Something to do with the jellyfish absorbing electricity and the core of the planet. I'm, I'm betting it is that red mark they leave. I'm betting I just need to be a little more cautious about where exactly I land on one of those. There's like some coral or something in the middle of there. one going down in it kind of looks like it might be this time around. 
I may need to take some time and just observe those and see what it looks like. So in the meantime, I will probably... Repair this. And take a look around, just see what I see. The jellyfish definitely, like, take in a bunch of electricity. And then are electric themselves, and you can't just touch them there. That one looks like it's not electrified anymore. No, it still is. So I'd have assumed you just had to, like, nestle in there and then, like, let them absorb the electricity, but you also get shut down if you touch them. Which means I don't want to touch them while, I, while they're electrified and just zap my body. That'd be bad. So when it's melting in, it's still electrified. The top kind of doesn't look like it is, though. Can you just sit on the top of it? I missed, I think. Not certain. There is a reality, there's a very much possible reality where you aren't supposed to take your whole ship and you're supposed to be, like land on there with your, just your, uh, your suit, which makes me nervous. I don't really want to try that and get zappified. If I just touch the top of the fish, do I get zapped? Yes. Hmm. Mysterious. Sorry you're taking such a beating ship. like you're heading down. What are you going to do? Forms that red spot. Let's just, without trying anything, let's just watch the whole process. Does it go all the way under or does it just go a little bit under and then stay on the surface? We see it like doing big electrical zappies. gotta be those red spots. I'm not sure if the ship can do it though. We'll have to try it with just the spacesuit soon though that sounds really unfun. So the first thing I'm gonna do then is try and find that island which had the big frozen thing of jellyfish under it. that was. I want to go 
too high to the surface or I think it'll eject me. There's the underside of like the quantum island. I sure love poles, dude, the Nomai. Trying to use the tracker on the side here to see if I can spot land I haven't visited. There's the the, the launcher. That's the pole again. Planets are so small, even the big ones. looks like it. I think it was the one with all the, like, bramble patch thorns on them. Kind of looks like it's on the other side of the surface, though. Which is not what I was expecting. Okay, let's, let's do a last attempt for, for this life-ish. Let's, let's focus, what I mean to say is let's focus this life, whatever remains of it, on trying to get in through the electrical stuff. Are you going down or are you coming back up? You're going down, okay. My suit, fuel up. This feels like a horrible mistake, let's find out. It was a horrible mistake. Red lights aren't really right under them, huh? Okay. We need to try something else. I'm gonna return to the ship and heal. I need to see if I can get a better view on this thing. Ah, healing. They don't make noise. under the jellyfish and that only the outer parts are electrified. That might be it. Yes, okay. So 
I just need to chill here until it gets past the electrical field. Not that I can tell, but the sound indicates that something is happening. Okay. Light? Can I turn on? Am I not able to turn on my light? Hi, baby. There we go. Light's on. Not doing much, but it's on. So, yeah, this is a part of their launch mechanism that I can barely see. It's very dark in here. The flashlight is not doing much. Let's see if we can find a way in. I do have a few parts of the actual ship and atmosphere that I need to explore as well. that I didn't get to the first time we crash landed. All right, let's see what we learn. Ow. Can we turn on gravity? Okay. Looks mostly the same as the rest of the ship we've seen, but there might be some interesting logs and stuff in here. Ash Twin Projection Stone. Yeah, the scary teleport room that I hate. Sure. Okay. Then we can read what this says. I've, I have exciting news. Privet, the Ash Twin, news Privet, the Ash Twin Project has almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital cannon. Remy is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be able to. She'll be finished soon. And you are you the orbital? Eh, are you and the orbital probe and well? We are. The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. On the other appendage, I'm now worried about this cannon's structural integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the eye of the universe, I'll send an alert immediately to you guys. Not really news. Launch module. Oh, hey, the statue. Gonna have to take a look at that. Yep. Been, been there, too. Blop. 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 Imagine, Privet. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. We'll be the first to see them. I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. I only need to fire the probe once. Anyway, so who minds if it comprises, compromises all the probe cannon structure? Of I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because it won't. we won't be able to receive our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Hello. Okay, let's see what's up here then. Are you going to 
give me lore. Ooh, it's so tiny! Yes. Receiving data from probe 9,318,080. So yeah, they're probably using the 22 minute time jumps to... to fire the probe infinite times to see how it... how many it can pick up. That's, I assume, what's going on. And somehow we've become the benefactors of the 22 minute time loop as well. Hence the, they've fired 9 million, but it only needs to fire once. Oh! That would be the coolest way to kill someone is to make them, like I put that in their body and then have all of the pro paths poke out. I know it's a weird thought, but that's my brain. Previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of launches. Deep Space Anomaly matching all known criteria for the I universe found by probe 50, uh, 54. So recently they found it. What the? Come back. Why did you disappear on me? Retrieving stored coordinates from Ashton. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. I don't know how to read that. But that seems fairly endgame-ish. Doesn't seem to be a lot else to do here. So I figure we get out of here, see if we can survive a trip back up with one of the jellies. And if so, head off to uh, see if we can figure that out in my ship. I can catch up to that one. Seems to be already pretty far gone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, need to find another jelly. Oh, never mind. Good timing. Ah! <laughs> okay, we'll look at the ship first, and then we will... Uh, head straight for the Ash Twins to see if we can learn anything more there. I definitely feel like I haven't figured out the teleporter system that we're supposed to have between the different planets. That That's probably going to be critical for figuring this out and getting the important lore. Kind of surprised they found... Stuff. I, I'm kind of surprised they did find the the Eye of the Universe again. That seemed like an unlikely thing. So yeah, there's one more thing to check on the cannon. Found no my coordinates. That's just for where the probe tracking module is. Which I'm assuming it's just, yeah, the core of that. That doesn't help me as much as I'd hoped. We may have to input the coordinates on like one of their ships or something. One last thing to check. Hopefully we won't crash into a planet and die. Um, we switch to map mode. 
Never been to Hollow's Lantern. Yeah, eh, down. I could check that out real quick and just die immediately. That's not a big problem. Looks heavily damaged. There's a huge breach in the glass viewport. The launch module's viewport window is fractured. Yeah. That's something else I've wanted to check. Maybe we do that real quick just to finish off as much of, of Giant's Deep as I currently can. I know there's more because I know there's like the statue place to explore because I never got in there but I'm definitely not aiming to 100% complete every single little find Hi, Quantum Moon. How are you? thing as it rotates. Okay. Let's try and make this quick. There we go. Excellent. Gravity stuff takes over. And we learn whatever little details might be buried in here really quickly. Seems like it's just telling us where the probe tracker is, which we already found out. But it's a little extra and it's one less question mark on the map, which is good. Imagine the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates. I'm honored and terrified. We won't, etc., etc. So the orange must be ones that are sent from like the other person on the message. Anything else in here? That is heavily damaged, so we can't take a look at those. And that's broken off. Okay. So that's one less question mark on the map. We kind of already solved it, but that's fine. Yep. Well, I've already eaten up some of our time to explore on that, but it makes me feel better getting some completion, completion stuff done. Still some big stuff left, but one less small question mark. So we head back for the Ash Twins and find out what we can find there. Hourglass Twins. Get out of here before we try and activate automatic travel. Oh, did I wedge this in here way too good? That's not great. Come on. 
There we go. Might be too late this cycle, we'll see. But if it is, we can just do one more cycle this game. I'm sure there's a ton to explore on Ember Twin. We did not do a ton of, of just like looking through the caves and stuff. In fact, we never found the quantum one on this planet, did we? Like just the general quantum, let alone the special stuff. land near something interesting and see what happens. There's the quantum signal. What was the other unidentified signal nearby I got? Was it just that? So what's in here first off and then we'll head back for quantum things. It looks like children's writing down there? Found it. Friends, if you find any signs of Coleus, I implore you to tell me he vanished without a trace during our research trip he's been missing ever since. Mallory, some of us from the Sunley City are here to help search for Coleus. Can you tell us more? You have my gratitude, Burr. Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique wandering rock that visits several different areas in the cave. We were, where was young Coleus lost, Mallory? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dark, dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant without warning. Turned away from Coleus to examine a sample. When I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air. I'm afraid for him. We'll learn more by examining the northern lake bed cave where he disappeared. Okay, so... The quantum signal helped me find that, which is great. Because that tells me to go to the North Pole. Is unfortunately not the way I'm headed. This is the distress beacon. Which apparently I didn't scan. So I don't know this one, but I was here, I believe. I think I've been through this before. super low gravity of this place, we can kind of just explore to our heart's content. So something about a dry lake bed at the hole. And then let's also explore this. Is this where our friend is from this planet? talk to you, huh? I never realized that, but yeah, I never talked to you. You're so tiny. Goodness, it's you. Hello. I take it from our first launch went well then. Uh, welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. What are you up to? Hornsfells asked me to update our star chart, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernova today. Usually I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye on four of the stars and maybe you'll spot one yourself. Tell me, what can I do for you? I found something. Hold 
Dark Bramble, Dark Bramble, Dark Bramble. I just wanted a supernova. Supernovae look like extra bright stars to the naked eye. I've seen millions of them. Um, massive stu stars go supernova. Where should I explore here? I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with the little scout. I've been taking pictures of everything. You know, old shipwreck site on uh, Emberton's southern hemisphere, the one that's shooting bright beam into the sky? The settlement. Yeah, I've kind of explored a bunch already. A big column of falling sand. On a scale of one to dead, I'd give it a seven or eight. Awfully pretty, though. Right now, sand is flowing from the Ash Twin to Ember Twin, but did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sands flow back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the, little, the other twin once a little sand drains off of it. I promise you won't be disappointed. Uh, B isn't exit. Okay, there we go. Cool. Um, dry lake bed. Should have refueled, but it's fine. Quantum fluctuations makes it happen. <sighs> yeah, we may need more sand before we can, or less sand here for us to explore this. If I don't find anything now, we'll have to come back along, like immediately before all the sand flows in. too full. We're not going to find it here. That's too bad. Had to be a completionist first to ruin my chances. Ow! Okay, well we know about that it's at the North Pole now. Let's just do a little bit of exploring until the universe explodes again. I hate you cactuses. Hello. Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cavern, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed of the North Pole, several days ago, and we're unable to find any trace of him. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique cool color and texture appears identical to the rock I met earlier. Wasn't this the same rock fragment that the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed? We plan to re-examine it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, the rock... Hello. Rock. Just cactuses. Nothing but cactuses. What need have I of cacti? This was the... We've been here before. Huh. Up. I don't think I can quite make it up there. 
just by jetpack. Uh, my ship is that way. It's fine. I'm just going to head to the South Pole, see if there's anything there that I didn't spot. Don't really care if I run out of oxygen or explode first. Run out of oxygen. Alright, we learned some stuff, which is more than I thought we would. Make a madcap dash this life straight for the lake bed and see what we can learn. Let's see if that's where the quantum thing is. We also want to explore the caverns a little bit and see if we can find the skeleton of the... Uh, horrible, wretched teeth monsters. Because those are a pain to deal with, and I do want to find their ship, their actual, like, not distress beacons, but ship buried in that dark bramble at some point. It seems like I may need to find a way to not be killed instantly by those things. North Pole of the Not Sand Ember Twin. in there hard to say north 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 first don't get distracted you know what whatever curvature of the earth this close to the center of the planet is real nasty. I don't like that effect. Getting crushed. Getting crushed. 
Let my let my extra propellant fuel up. Okay. If we're gonna go travel this way, we've gotta be a little bit smart about it. Cactuses. This feels like it's going nowhere. This feels like I'm just randomly wandering. I this is quantum. This is all quantum, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? So it's like a quantum maze. You have to work your way through. That makes it feel like I'm on the right track. come here to look for Coleus, this is where we were when you vanished. You've been missing for two days. Your strange wandering rock friend is here, though Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed the unusual looking rock shard in several smaller rocks in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant, but what happened after Coleus disappeared? We were examining different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the wandering rock. I was taking notes and I looked away. Okay. So we can stand on the rock and be taken with it. Don't know what that light does, if anything. Looking, standing on, taking notes? do that, then that'll at least. Hmm. That's certainly something. He disappeared. We were examining different rocks. I recall he was standing on the largest one. I was taking notes, then my lantern died. When it lit, when I lit it again, the rock was gone. Okay, so if it's dark, too dark for you to see them, they can do the quantum thing even while you're on them. That's what it's saying. Okay, got it. So we make it appear, turn it down with my lantern still on it. We do this. And we're somewhere else. How curious. This rock took me to a new location. I wonder why this happened. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly and the rock carried me here. That seems the clearest explanation. The rock can bring me out of here. My well, hypothesis is correct. I can travel in this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. 
I'm going to bring my meteor here to see the mentor here to see this. Lori is here now too. We theorize when a conscious mind is being in contact with it, it ceases to act as an observer, meaning darkness entangled. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised never to vanish again. Curious, but also alarming. New caves lacks an entrance or exit. Okay. So now we know the rule of quantum entanglement. Does it only pop between those two locations, or does it pop elsewhere as well? Yeah, here's somewhere else. I'm gonna die of oxygen again because I ran into that cactus, but... We figured it out. That's what matters. I don't think I'm gonna make it to my ship before I run out of oxygen, so at least we learned something. Oh, please, if I can just make it to the oof. Ah! <laughs> That's a good start. That's a great start. I still don't know what the rule of six or whatever it was, was. <sighs> but maybe quantum entanglement can somehow help me. Obviously it'll help me on the moon, but maybe it can help me find the, the last rule as well. Okay, that's nice that it does give you a little, like, here's, there's more here than you've found. That's good. Okay. So, like, a lot of the, the... Orbital probe cannon stuff looks like it's like you found basically everything here. Okay, that's good to know. Um. Where to? Where to? I still have more to explore on the Ash Twins. Let's just keep doing that, because I have to find the the black hole generator or whatever. The black hole... F no, I found the black hole forge. So, there's 
There's more in the Sunless City that can lead to Sun Station. Black Hole Forge. Below the Hanging City, I found a switch in the mill. This is lowers the forge. Black Hole Forge District is the highest district in the Hanging City. Crafted warp cores at the Black Hole Forge before delivering them to the Ash Twin Project. And yeah, the anglerfish fossil as well. So that stuff's... Need my suit. That stuff's all going to be in the caves. So once again, double check. That's a white hole, that's a white hole. So you can only emerge here, you can't lead, depart from there. That's not too surprising that they won't let you kind of gimmick that. Stay away from the, the voodoo. That's a Warcraft 3, War, World of Warcraft reference. Oxygen trees, oxygen trees. To the cave that I only kind of remember how to navigate. Okay, so as I recall, this cave had the angler. Skeleton. See if I can use that to track down where an angle of entrance might be. Oh, there's something. Is that above? There's something above. And that's there. Okay. Let's let's do a little bit of exploring real quick. Already read through all of this. Anything directly above the scout. Uh, there's an abandoned door, of course there is. That's what I get for thinking I'm clever, I suppose. Alright, let's just head for the city. It's not too late already. So we just have to stay along this path, and then I'll have to reread some of the notes to try and make it, because I don't remember every path. Here, as I recall, it's go over to the side and then look up. Which they frustratingly don't leave a note saying look up right under it. This says, be cautious crossing. It's up behind the sand waterfall, yep. 
and then across the way here. Oh, I didn't mean that. Well, that's unfortunate. Shoot! Fish District. So I do want to find that. Which is over there. Oh, that's right. The Anglerfish Outlook is just where you enter from. That's right. I remember now. Of course, I'm already lost and don't remember where I entered from. So that's less than helpful. I'm happy I noticed that I can see the scout's location on the world map. That's kind of handy. So now I realize that I can just do like this and be like, okay, so it's this hole. It's been com who's been computing shuttle trajectories at sun to the sun station don't worry the station is such a low stellar orbit we've constructed a different safer way to travel it's a purely theoretical exercise on my part but who doesn't love computing i look forward to working with you etc etc um wouldn't be traveling by shuttle and that the sun station doesn't even have a landing pad okay that doesn't that's neat at least doesn't super help let's get out of here Find Angler Overlook and see if we can learn anything about that. There we go. Okay. So here's the other angle into this room. Oh, there's something under it, too, through the mouth. That is interesting. So again, let's... Oh, wow. So now I know that I can travel under it as well and work my way up. And there's still time because it hasn't been completely filled with sand either. Stepping Stone Cave. I don't remember that. Ah, uh, it looks like it might be too late, actually. Okay, here's some clues. To climb through the hole. You'll have to use the long way, but it's go to Stepping Stone Caves and then up. Oh, cool. Okay. Cares the tallest. Okay. Great to know. That's great to know. 
now I have to just run the rush of the sand. Because it's already getting a little late for most of these things. to learn what stepping stone caves is without it being full of sand and me in a rush to not die. Thank you, the light of my scout. You're a true hero. I don't know what I'm gonna learn here, but at least it's another thing checked off. Whoever was it when we ended the last season of okay, Rule change, the angle of friction has the power to unfold. Why are we changing it? It's too hard to see anything. It's the real angle of your fisher blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. It's okay if younger kids, if you don't wear the blindfold while you're at the rest of us, scientific accuracy. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against the wall and the anglerfish says go. The anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Last little anglerfish. Okay, so they're blind. They can't see. That's what we needed to learn from that, is that they can't see. So they must, like, only be able to hear us if we're doing the engine noise. Fish study. Long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent, used as a lure. While well, I was just sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw are playing here again. This rule is a game incorporated in the Grand Church. Uh, digestive tract suggest death by starvation. Visually, the specimen appears to be the same species as the type in Dark Bramble. Okay. So, yeah. This will open to that path we were by earlier. See where else this goes. So now that we know they're blind, we can find a way to get through to their ship. Oh, we aren't supposed to be able to ride that any higher. That's bad. My fuels are just about out. My oxygen's not far behind. Oh, missed one. Oxygen around here. I thought it was close. I don't see it though. Gonna suffocate again. Darn. Well, we learned a lot. That gives us an angle of attack next time, which is exploring, seeing if we can figure out how to travel silently through Dark Bramble to find their central ship. It's all coming together. Let's take one last look at the map to see what other areas we need to find and might have more to do at. And then we're approaching the end, I think. Bye. So it still says there's more to learn in the city. No, not in the city. Yes, in the city. Uh, oh, the one beneath Bramble. Bramble. Br br More to learn in the escape pod and the Know My Grave, which is going to be how to get to the big ship, basically. 
basically done all of that that is I've discovered so far. Haven't found a way into the Statue Island or to Sun Station from the Ash Towers. Well, we've got a bunch left to explore, but that's a great progress for today. Thanks for joining me. Hope you had a good time and see you on the next one. Bye!